That's right. That memorial service started just a few minutes ago. Now uh, it is happening live inside the Honda Center. We have cameras inside, so just take a look at this. This is a, a closed event. It is not open to the public, just friends, family, loved ones, and members of the law enforcement community. More than a thousand people are in attendance. The casket carrying the body of Officer Nicholas Vela was blessed by the priest a short time ago. This service, a very emotional one, is now streaming live, and you can catch it on YouTube under the City of Huntington Beaches Police Department, uh, City of Huntington Beaches YouTube page. So far, lots of singing and prayers for the fallen officer. Nicholas Vela died while on duty February 19. He was 44 years old. Leading up to the memorial now, there was a police procession at the, leading to the Honda Center, a testament to what Officer Vela meant to this community. Sky 5 was overhead as the procession kicked off at 7 a.m. this morning from the Huntington Beach Police Department to the Honda Center. Hundreds of law enforcement members from various agencies showing up today in solidarity. This is all for the wife and daughter of Officer Vela, the family he leaves behind. Nicholas Vela served with the Huntington Beach Police Department for 14 years. This department, like his second family, a man who was so respected and so loved. Nicholas Vela died nearly three weeks ago. He and his partner were responding to a disturbance call when their helicopter crashed just off the shoreline in Newport Beach. Witnesses and first responders pulled the pair from the wreckage. His partner, who was the pilot, survived. Nicholas Vela did not. He was an 18-year law enforcement veteran. He spent the first four years of his career working for the Laguna Beach Police Department. Even strangers showing up today to pay their respects. We knew we wanted to pay our respects in some capacity, especially with all the hate that is in the world, especially directed towards cops. We wanted to make sure that our local police department understood and knew that there were people still out there that cared. Now, according to the NTSB, the cause of this crash is still under investigation. But today, of course, it's not how Nicholas Vela died. It's about how he lived, and he is being remembered today. So this uh, memorial service happening until 1 o'clock today. You can watch it on YouTube. And as for the street closures out here in Anaheim, the streets are back open. I'm Lena Bovin reporting live in Anaheim, KTLA 5 News.